happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I got my Valentine. I got uh, the Meow Wolf. The living Christ is that thing. <laughs> the <Stop laughs> Wolf. You, you say that like I'm supposed to know what that abomination is. That doesn't tell me shit. <laughs> they're, they're like an art collective and they have a big installation in Denver and we went last week and that was in the gift shop. And I was oh, like, that Meow Wolf. Of course. How did I not know about them? I need the weird cat dog thing. What? It's important. <laughs> it's the Meow Wolf. Uh. So yeah, it's 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 been a week. We've uh we we're that much closer to releasing the little beast from the bathroom. I've seen the videos. It looks like she and Grady are getting used to each other. Grady does not know what to do with this thing. <laughs> Cause she loves him all of a sudden. She's like, I want to be your best friend. You're amazing. I'm gonna smell you all over and I'm gonna jump on you. I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna whap, 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 come on, play, come on, play. And Grady's like, What? Nice. What's going on? I don't, I. That's how, that's how Valkyrie was with our cats. She was just like, Hi, bestie. And they were like, Whoa. Yeah. Who the f are you? Yeah. No, it's, it's, it, well, Grady's just never been a very good cat, is the problem. <laughs> He's a wonderful cat. He's just not very good at catting. Because he, he, she, she's like trying to be like, Come on, play. Come on, play. He's like, what the f night are you? <laughs> what is this play? What are you doing? I sleep and I yell for treats. That's what I do. But they're not, uh, they're not antagonistic to each other. There's no more hissing. There's no more fighting. Oh. So they're pretty much close to letting her out. And they should be all right. So. Well, that's good. <sighs> they'll be, they'll be like BFFs before you know it. Well, with that out of the way. It is, it is that time again. It's, uh, going to do the bit. And, oh my. I mean, it's, I, I, I can never really prepare anyone for any we have here. It's almost, if there, there were themes, no... if there were themes, it would be even more unsettling, wouldn't it? Because then, you know, all the same shit happens in one week. And if we had like all poop week, all naked week. That would be a little, we'd be like, shit's like a conspiracy, but anyway. I have a joke for you before oh, we start. Oh, 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 okay. Sorry, never mind. Go ahead. No, go ahead. What is Baby Yoda's favorite dinosaur? What? It's the Ceratops. There is no try. Just be glad you only had to listen to that one. Oh, shush. <laughs> Each week, Catholic Radio Dead Air Rides go on the worldwide interwebs. Find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring back here for a little second. We like to call. What the fuck is wrong with you? And, um, well, it's Valentine's Day here at Radio Dead Air. Um, well, not on YouTube anymore. I'm Radio Dead Air. And, uh, Appropriately enough, we, we're starting with a Valentine's Day story. Uh-oh. A completely terrible Valentine's Day. You know what, what you should give uh, your, your Valentine? Are you in the channel? I don't see you there. Yeah. There you are. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what you, which you should give your, uh, your Valentine the gift of? An arrest warrant. Need Valentine's Day gift? S help Florida police send your ex to jail. What a Florida thing. Of course, Dottie's going to choose now to come down and eat as loudly as she possibly can. <sighs> this is from uh, Port Orange, Florida. The month of love upon us. The opposite is surely also true for the brokenhearted. For those in this melancholy crowd who happen to live in Port Orange, the local police department has offered them a chance to potentially get back at their ex-Valakine in a not-so-playful way. 
with jail time. Facebook post Wednesday, the Port Orange police use Valentine's Day wordplay to encourage people to report ex-partners with outstanding warrants. Quote, this Valentine's Day month-long special starts off with a set of limited edition platinum bracelets, free transportation with chauffeur, and a one-night minimum stay in luxurious accommodations and professional glamour shots that will be posted online for all to enjoy, the department said. The post ends with a uh, phone number to call. It says the department's website is it's not emergency number. Um, I can't even explain how many ways this is a terrible idea. Okay. If you're getting arrested by the local cops, just, just to know in case this ever happens to you, um, there's a good chance you can get a bail bond. You, you can be, depending on what you're being arrested for, you can be out within the same day, depending. Which means you can be out of jail and looking for the person who fucking narked on you. So also, I feel like this is a, a level of entrapment because if you knew where they were the whole time, what's going to stop the cops from being like, oh, oh, you knew where they were for months right? now? Yeah, that's aiding and abetting. Come on in with us. Like that, it feels like yeah. entrapment to me. I'm just, th this is like an, an invitation to domestic violence. Also, I feel like just look. Breakups are hard. Yeah. You got to get over them. Don't involve the, unless it's something done. I've had direct some motherfucker breakups in my time. And never at any point did I think it was a good idea on Valentine's Day to spend my energy looking to fuck them. Because that's not healthy. Like, it, it, it's not, it's. <sighs> Unless they did this shit specifically to you, yeah. don't get the cops involved. Yeah. Don't, what are you doing? I mean, if you find out your ex was like a serial killer, yes. by all means, I mean, turn yeah. that motherfucker in. Oh, yeah. That's that's like if they're pulling some Dexter shit, then yeah, okay, that fair enough. Um, but, but there was another one of the big cat sanctuaries was doing you could pay for like a donation. They would make a blood gelatin heart with your ex's name on it and videotape them feeding it to the tigers. And I'm like, look, I am more than happy to donate to the care of the tigers. But if you're doing that, that's that's you, some, need, you, you need to move on. That's some voodoo shit. Yeah. Like, that's that's some that and every year companies do this like send your ex dead roses send your ex chocolate with dead cockroaches in it and i'm like or stop spending money on that asshole right and buy yourself something sounds like you need to buy yourself therapy um maybe if you can't afford therapy buy yourself chocolate yeah. everybody's gonna be happier well next up from the uh, how the fuck does this keep happening department it, it fucking happened again i'm i'm just what russian painting vandalized by bored gallery guard who drew eyes on it so now it's not even the people walking in it's the person who was hired to watch the fucking thing Plot of the Mr. Bean movie? <laughs> it is. He sneezed on Whistler's mother and tried to rub it off and it rubbed the paint off so he drew her face back on with a sharpie. <laughs> Valuable avant-garde painting has been vandalized by a bored security guard who drew eyes on faceless figures in the artwork on his first day working in a Russian gallery. <laughs> So Bro, I don't know if you skipped orientation, but your job is to literally <laughs> prevent that from happening. It's the whole point of your job to not allow exactly that to happen. Anna Liporskaya's three figures was painted between 32 and 34 has been insured for 75 million rubles, about $1.4 million dollars. It was on display as part of an abstract art exhibition at the Boris Yeltsin Presidential Center. I'm sorry, I can't even say that without laughing. 
<laughs> Boris, I mean, only 90s kids will remember Boris Yeltsin and uh, his his gigantic liver. Um, Alexander Drozdov, the executive director of the Yeltsin Center, did not identify the security guard in a statement, but said he worked for a private security company and had been fired. Uh, exhibition's curator uh, said the painting was vandalized with a Yeltsin Center branded pen. <laughs> so this motherfucker, day one, is wandering the fucking page. We don't know. Okay, do we know if he decided to get to any other paintings? We just haven't noticed it yet. Well, you know, my name is Simon, and I like to do drawings. What the fuck? Like, there's, there's a version of this prank that's fine. Like, our local Starbucks, somebody put googly eyes on all the sandwiches and drinks on the drive through menu. Yes, that's, that's fine. Super cute. Pretty hard. I mean, yeah, somebody's going to have to go out and peel those off. Well, but they're not hard to, to peel but... off. You know, like, and honestly, the Starbucks people don't seem to mind. They've been up there for weeks. Maybe don't destroy valuable art. How do you, this is like completely missing the concept of what your, what your job is. Like, exactly. Fuck. Like, you had one job. <laughs> Literally. Matt. This was not it. This, you, you were not the revisionist artist. That was not your job. It's not your job. Well, You're not Jack Nicholson in the first Batman movie. Where you're gonna have an improving the paintings party. That's this, this one is is just it. Well, the, you're just fired. Well, how do you know what they're looking at if they ain't got eyes? <laughs> like fucking hell! At is least the same good... guy who like if 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 anybody he knows has fun codes, draws little mouths on them. The good news is this: the damage was was fairly superficial. They will be able to fix it, but still, Jesus Christ! <laughs> like, it's the fucking your, this is your job, and you're just like, nope. If I were an artist, I would fucking find that dude. Well, they're very dead at this point, but <laughs> from 1934, they're they're kind of dead. I'm pretty sure. Oh, fair. <laughs> well, you're lucky. <laughs> Well, th 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 here's one artist who could find this person um, somehow miraculously still alive. Although, damn. Well, let's get into it. Um, you know, we have to used to say, if you have to tell people who you are, then you're not that big of a deal. If you have to tell people you're Mick Jagger, you're probably oh. not Mick Jagger. And I, th at 59, he sure looks like he's approaching the 70 plus years who is 78. Yeah. How at 59 does this guy actually look rougher than Mick Jagger, who looks rough right? as fuck? Right. An unruly Florida man who is yelling at people claiming he was Mick Jagger facing criminal charges after hustling with police and causing disturbances at a pair of neighboring restaurants. According to cops, Eugene Bingham, 59, was intoxicated Monday evening when he became disruptive at two Naples eateries. Along with yelling at other patrons, Bingham got up on stage while a live performance was going on. Bingham, picture it right, the mugshot taken after a 2021 arrest, so this is a totally different arrest. As officers searched for Bingham, who had walked away from the restaurants before cops arrived, a witness reported that a drunk male in a red shirt is yelling at people, claiming he is Mick Jagger. Now for, for the padding it out portion of the article, Jagger, a 70-year-old great-grandfather, <laughs> is the lead singer of the Rolling Stones and one of the Glimmer Twins. Bingham is subsequently located in nearby Park, where he allegedly charged into a Naples Police Department officer before falling to the ground in a drunk, unstable state. After reportedly directing threats at wet patrolmen, Bam capped his evening by vomiting the rear of another cop's cruiser. So he's got the Jagger. He's got yeah. moves like Jagger. 
He does. I mean, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That, that all does sound very Jagger-esque. Yeah. Bingham was charged with battery and a law enforcement officer, felony and disorderly intoxication, misdemeanor, not charged with impersonation of a celebrity, unfortunately. Um, you know what I really want to know? Did he try and do a British accent? <laughs> or is he just yelling in full ass American? <laughs> I'm Mick Jagger. You can't do this to me. <laughs> Isn't, he? Isn't he British? No. <laughs> He's me. Like it, I it, made that up to get famous. Uh, like yes, it, I, we normally don't comment on how people look, but man, that's a hard fifty-nine, dude. That's a hard fifty-nine. Because like Mick Jagger looks fucking rough. Yeah, and, like and I he's, understand he's pushing eighty. Yeah, Mick Jagoff. Yes, Greg. Mick Mick Jagoff. <laughs> like if you have to yell at people that you are a certain celebrity either number one you weren't that important a celebrity like you know or number two you aren't that celebrity you, you don't have to mick jagger doesn't have to tell people he's mick jagger they know yeah yeah i mean there there are still like boomers who will fucking melt down in his presence. Apparently in Florida. <sighs> Fucking hell. Oh, but Bingham last month was convicted of trying to break into a marked police car outside of Perkins. When apprehended, he claimed to have heard- known Rolling Stones hangout. Yeah. A, a belligerent Bingham, an officer reported, claimed he was, quote, a combat vet and, quote, he wanted to strangle me. Cop out of the Bingham also claimed to possess AK-47s and AR-15s and, quote, bullets that would rip right through your body armor, which is always a good thing to tell the police. Uh, that I helps, though. That. Are there bullets that can do that? Yes. Yeah. But they're not like you, you don't just like pick them up at your local Walmart. It's you definitely don't bring it up to cops. No, you don't. <laughs> that's not a not entirely a legal thing. So unless it's Texas where, you know, if, if it explodes, they don't give a shit. Yeah. Ah. So let's uh, moving right along. It's more Florida and it's 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 the happiest place on Earth. Except today. Oh, we 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 we've wondered where these people are going now that the Chuck E. Cheese is no longer an option. And it's they're, they're going to see... I thought we decided it was... Golden IHOP? Corral? Well, Golden Corral. Well, no, apparently a couple of them slipped over to Disney. Speaking of slipping, um, drunk girl, drunk guests take clothes off and brawl at Disney Springs, slip on vomit into bushes during fight. Ongoing series of recent fights at Walt Disney World, police arrested two drunk guests on multiple charges. Um, Two women, ages 29 and 31, were vacationing with their family in Orlando. That night, the sisters ate at a steakhouse and seemed to be having an enjoyable evening at first. Um, They got drinks at an Irish restaurant. Then the problems began, small at first, when they tried to go back to the hotel uh, Disney property. Their phone died. Disney security helped them call an Uber. The Uber driver refused to take them as he worried they were too drunk. The women argued while waiting for a taxi and their night unraveled. The older sister called the younger sister a bad mom and slapped her. The younger sister threatened to punch and return. Around 1240 a.m. when Orlando County Sheriff's Office got dispatched by a fight happening at Disney Springs. The younger sister was screaming and crying when they arrived. She wore only her underwear and sandals. Um, Deputy Shu soon learned the story of what happened. Both women were screaming at each other. One woman was sitting on a bench while the second one was standing over her. After attempting to calm the situation, um, security manager said one woman slapped the other in the face. At that point, both women began punching, slapping, and pulling each other's hair. When separated, both sisters ran at each other slipped in the younger sister's vomit, then fell into the bushes while fighting. The manager stated the younger woman fell, a uh, younger sister ran a few feet away and took off her dress 
exposing her breasts. Shortly thereafter, they began to punch each other again. So we got some Xena shit going on here. Um, they were able to separate the two again until the off-duty deputies arrived on scene. Court noted that Disney did not have surveillance video of the drunken naked brawl. When the deputies questioned the younger sister, the report said she only wanted to talk about how she didn't like her sister's boyfriend. <laughs> wow. Now look, sisters are fucking brutal. I have two. And I went when I was 21 and my one of my sisters was 25. We went to Disney together and she did punch me in the kidney on the monorail. But we didn't make a whole production of it. I just I just muttered, stop fucking hitting me. We went on with our day. I, I just. How are, are how do you lose such sense of where you are that you're fucking fighting? In the fucking Disney world. Do you remember Pleasure Island? Did you ever go down there? We for didn't that? get to go. We wanted to go on that trip, but we were with our aunt who literally at 21 and 25 made us keep our one hand on her like disability cart the whole time. Literally 21 and 25 years old. We had to keep one hand on our cart so we didn't run off. So we did not get to see Pleasure Island. They they uh they closed it. And part of the reason why Disney Pleasure Island, in case you, you, you didn't know, was like the grown up part of Disney it was like they had all the bars. They had some nightclubs, some cool shit going on. And they closed it down precisely for this reason. Because they get fucking people <laughs> drinking. People can't handle their shit. No. And it's I haven't too. seen I haven't seen stories about them having these problems with the people that decide to drink their way around Epcot. Maybe because they just die. <laughs> I don't know if you realize how many countries are at Epcot, but people are always like, "I'm going to drink my way around the world," and I'm like, "Nice knowing you. You are going to die." Like, I have been super just. I've been this super drunk, but I've never been to the point where it didn't occur to me what was happening in my life at that moment. Vomit on the sidewalk, punch your sister, take off your dress drunk. That's that's kind of that's amazing. That is amazing. Meanwhile, meanwhile, like Donald Duck is somewhere nearby just going. There was a cat. They, they say some of this was witnessed by a cast member, which meant somebody was in one of them fucking outfits. It's like. I, paid the I think they call all Disney employees cast members. Really? Yeah. That's how they can dictate so much about your appearance. Because Sephora did it too. You weren't an employee. You were a cast member. But I think they call all their employees cast members. Whether you're like a character or not. I don't, I don't know why. Like even if you're selling churros, you're a cast member. I do not know why for the life of me people fall all over themselves to work there it's it seems like it sounds like hell it's to me that's that seems like that that you're def that seems like hell to me yeah and I, I every time every time i've been there i just think like florida is hot and humid almost always oh yes so i look at like the princesses in those big ass dresses and the wigs and i'm just like not for all the money. I, the I lived at Tampa, which is like the same latitude. And what happens in the summer is hot, sticky, hot, sticky, hot, sticky, hot, sticky, hot, sticky, fucking downpour, hot, sticky, hot, sticky, hot, sticky, hot, sticky. Every day going on a trip to Orlando in September. And I hated it. I was not dry the entire week. It was terrible. Like you could set your watch. It's all like two o'clock every day. Fucking downpour. You could set your watch by. It's crazy. And oh. you will never get dry from that downpour. Let's let's move to the other coast, which surprisingly this shouldn't. This seems like it should be a Florida story, and yet it's not. Um, I've I've watched back in the day. I watched episodes of Cops on Fox. You know, it's like the only four. Mom used to love cops. Did not miss cops every Saturday. He saw a lot of weird. 
pullovers and stops and stuff. I I don't think I ever saw one that involved this. Um California man arrested driving around with alligator saying he was babysitting it for a friend in jail. Okay. Northern California man was arrested this week on a warrant, but what would have been a standard arrest took a bizarre turn when police found an alligator in the car. Tyler Watson of Redding was pulled over by police in the city of Anderson on Tuesday morning after it was discovered that Watson had an outstanding warrant for a probation violation. He was handcuffed. Once cops cuffed him, he told them he had a live alligator in the passenger seat. Watson claimed he was watching it for a friend who had been recently arrested. Watson is now charged for illegal possession of an alligator. See, in they don't let you bring alligators. California is very particular about the animals you're allowed to have there. And and they don't Also alligators are not good pets. No. They are dinosaurs. Yeah. It's it's they they're some of the last remaining fucking dinosaurs. It's is Like I often joke about how much I want to hug a mountain lion and take it into the house. I know not to actually do that cuz they're not pets. Even if they're cute. I mean, I'm sure I, they can be gentle and all. Sure, if they're in their, their habitat and they're fed properly. Sure, sure, sure. But it's still a goddamn alligator. It's a goddamn dinosaur. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a goddamn dinosaur. Why would you? I mean, I see people living with uh, uh, boa constrictors. And even that is yeah. sort of like, okay. I mean, they can, they're sweet as hell if you feed them regularly and you, you, you treat them nice. They're sweet. They're nice little creatures. but. I'm still like, that's you, man. That's, that's, that thing's fucking. And the, the bone constrictors though. can eat alligators. What? Did he get this excuse by watching Peacemaker? <sighs> like, well, it worked with Eagly. <laughs> I'm, I'm holding him for my friend, Alligator Man. <sighs> I just, it, yeah, they're not good pets. No, because Al- California has, they're, they're very careful, careful about their invasive species. Uh, there's like a bunch of rodents you're not allowed to bring out there to have as pets. Yeah. Um, and alligators are one of those, those species that once you get them in there, you're fucked. They, they will, they, they're, they're apex predators. They're like, okay, let's get down to business. Of course, if you scroll down, all the cops made sure to take pictures with the little baby gator. Oh. Hey. Whose whose mouth is taped shut? Yeah, well, they have to they they have to do that on be safe. Yeah, if you have to do that, it's not a good pet. (laughs) Yeah. Like Simba bites like a motherfucker. I don't have to literally Hannibal Lecter him like the flurkin from Captain Marvel because he's not going to kill anybody. No. He's not going to take your fucking hand off. Oh, not for lack of trying. Yeah. Last one this week is how the fuck did you live through this? And it's it's like one morning you're just you're having breakfast, you're hanging out and all of a sudden Quite literally, wha-bam! Let's get some of the bigger pictures here so you can see this. Um, Suddenly, there's a car in your house. Like, literally in. See, And what's worse, I don't know how it did it backwards. Is, yeah, yeah. Uh, first responders at the scene of a rack in a yard inside of a house Thursday afternoon in northwest Oklahoma City. Authorities were on the scene uh, near Hefner Road and MacArthur Boulevard. Upon arriving, they found the car hanging from the side of the house. And this is the one that's just, look at this. This, uh, the, this, the thing speared through the fucking windshield. Um, driver is able to free himself before being taken out hospital his condition is unknown at the time um oh my god i'm not okay he, 
Here's the challenge for me here. He was identified Friday morning as Joshua Ibojoni Moriboko Alai. Uh, uh, Al Alali. Alali. Thank you. Joshua Ibogoni Moriboko Alali. Take my time. Pronounce the words carefully. There. Um, he was given a citation for reckless driving. One of the owners, Tiffany Waters, was inside when the BMW came crashing in. Uh, she tells KFOR she had just stepped out of the shower. That at her was not like a car crash, and the house shook, and our bedroom window glass just blew inside of our bedroom window. Um, there was debris everywhere, and then across the corner, I saw a car on top of the roof. I couldn't believe it. I mean, you just don't see that. Her husband, Mike Waters, said the lines to their gas, electric, and cable were all severed on impact. So, for a brief moment, you have combustible gas and electric current shooting out next to each other. This could have been way worse. This, this could have been like... And a potentially wet human. Like, how do you land backward? What the fucking hell? What did... What Before it? anybody makes the joke, no, no porno has ever started this way. No. Because <laughs> one of y'all is going to try it, and no. <laughs> Homeowner says police told him the driver was going around 90 miles an hour when he went off the road, crashing their fence and roof. Still not clear exactly how the SUV became airborne. <laughs> And he walked, he got out of the car. He had injuries, but he walked away. He just like got out. It's like, that was a hell of a thing. Huh. How are you not dead? Did, did you, this, did you play chess with death or something? Cause this is like, how are you not fucking dead? I mean, we know he's not a vampire because it's daytime. <laughs> Look, you see the back axle is just jacked. Also, like, how did you even get out of that car? <laughs> Very determinedly. Yeah, you had to, like, jump out of that car. Hey, look at the I just I'm just it looks like the fucking the fucking Jeep from Jurassic Park. What the fuck were you doing? I'm just I'm whatever kinda, you were doing, it was wrong. I'm kind of amazed it ended up backward. How the Yeah. How that's impressive. No, but just one morning you're you're getting out of the shower and then all of a sudden, kabam! This any day this could fucking happen to you. This is just this is welcome to life. You can't account for this. There's literally, you know, you know, all those people who every time something bad happens, like, well, you should have done this, and this, and this. Uh -huh. Yeah, what the fuck were you supposed to do here? This shit can just kablam. You're fucked. Welcome to life. Car, naked, we. Yeah, Grim Reaper is on a smoke break. He's like, oh, shit. what happened? What? I was outside. Oh, fuck. Ah, God damn it. I mean, it. if she just got out of the shower, what was she wearing? This just it. That was a joke. Yeah. Okay. I just know that someone on YouTube is going to be like, well, I can't believe Terry's victim blaming. I just, I'm making fun of you. I just, I it's... How? Yeah, it's one of those things where you're like, how is nobody... How's nobody dead? Yeah, how is everybody still in one piece? How is that... The gas line and the electric line. How, that, sh that sounds to me like a recipe for like... I, I guess I've watched too many action movies because anytime anybody blinks at a gas line, everything yeah. explodes. But... That's just... You shoot a car in the bumper and it blows up. Right, yeah. Because there's a gas tank three feet away from where you shot it. Uh, 
All right. Well, Action movies have ruined us. I guess the first thing we learned this week is at any time of day, fucking car can land on your house. You don't know. Welcome to life. Would you rather be surprised by a naked person or a runaway car? Runaway car. Because really? I was definitely going to go naked person. Because the runaway car is insured. And I'm getting a payday off that shit. If you don't die? If I don't die, yeah. But, you know, if I don't die... I mean, at least you know the naked person's not armed. Well... Probably. They might have a gun stuffed somewhere a gun should not yeah. be. Um, we've learned dinosaurs are not good pets. No. I don't know why we need to tell people things like that. Although someone in the YouTube can't comments went, actually I had a dinosaur when I was growing up and it was a wonderful pet. I had an alligator and he was my best friend and he never hurt anybody. And you guys are like really bigoted against alligators. YouTube comments were a mistake. Um, <laughs> we've learned that maybe if you're at Disney World, just tone down the hostility a little bit. Or else you and your sister are going to be naked, kicking each other's maybe, ass, drunk. Maybe you don't need to get shit hammered at Disney. Right? Like, you I don't understand why people even want to do that. That sounds like a fucking nightmare. Because you're surrounded by children and people in weird fucking outfits. With giant smiles. I could not imagine going through fucking It's a Small World hammered. I couldn't do that. I would be in the boat. No! It's Hall of Presidents? Fuck you! Fucking Reagan! <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> Suck it! Maybe you don't need to get shit hammered at Disney. Um, we've learned if you have to tell people you're Mick Jagger, you're probably not. That's kind of a dead giveaway right there. And if you're telling people you're Mick Jagger and a combat vet, an American combat vet, yeah, that's you need to pick a lane. We've learned um, you, you're not if you're hired to work in a museum, it's not to improve the art. Just yeah, that's not your job. That's just just walk the floor, wave your flashlight, jingle your keys. It's not that's you're done. Yeah. I know, I'm sorry it's not night in the museum. I'm sorry you don't have fucking Robin Williams to keep you entertained through the evening. I don't know who fooled you on that one. I mean, they do hire people to improve the art, but you need a fucking master's degree. Yeah. Not, not keys. Keys are not. Right. And finally, we've learned um, maybe don't involve the police. In your relationship? At no point should the police be involved in your breakup. And if they are, something's gone terribly wrong. Terribly awry. wrong, yeah. Yeah, there, there's... If, if the only thing going on is, like, I hate this motherfucker, you don't yeah. need the cops. I no. mean, yes, if if you are being harmed. Right, I, but, right. But that is the terribly awry. Right. Like, if it's just a run-of-the-mill breakup, there is no reason to involve the police. Yeah. And, and yeah, that. What the fuck? Also, just. You got to sometimes you just got to move on. Sometimes you just got to take an L. I've taken some serious L's. It sucked ass. But continuing to spend money on that person. Yep. Only tells them you still have a thing for them. Do yeah. you want to do that? Do you want to let them win? Yeah, fuck just... no. Buy yourself some chocolate. They don't need to know. It's, it's so cops are so weird. They thought, oh, this will be cute. And you're like, no, no. you're you're weird. Stop it again. And, and again, feels like entrapment. Yeah, a little bit. Because you just need one asshole cop to be like, why didn't you turn him in sooner? And you're fucked. So a cop. Oh, great comment. 